Hi everyone, my name's Mrs Donahoe and if you know me, I probably have taught you ukulele in school. Even if you've never had a ukulele lesson with me, go and check out the pieces on the Solihull Music Service website and then come back because I'm here to show you the four chords that you need to be able to play them. Many of them have backing tracks and YouTube backing tracks to help you. First of all, before we get started, you need to remember that the thumb is very important when we play our chords. He sits sat upright, not fast asleep, and definitely not in, you remember, McDonald's, but he sat upright at the back of the neck, near to the nut. Then, we need to place our fingers on the frets, but remember, that's not on the lines of the frets, it's in the gaps, in the boxes. Fret one, fret two, fret three are the only frets we're going to need today. And we will also need to remember the names of the strings. So to remind you, the G string is nearest the nose. The C string is the next one down. Then we have the E string. And finally, nearest the toes, the A string. If you remember the rhyme, it was girls can't eat ants. So, the first chord we're going to look at today is the chord of C. Here's what it looks like written down. As you can see, it's on the A string. And if you look at where the black dot is, that is the third fret. So if I come to the ukulele, put my thumb in its place, drop my wrist down and take my third finger, one, two, three, and put it on the string, on the A string nearest my toes in the third fret. And then I squeeze really hard my thumb and finger together and with my other thumb, I brush my strings by the sound hole chord of C. If you take your finger off you should have a nice line indented where the string was. If you don't you need to squeeze a bit harder. Come back in a minute for the chord of A minor. Bye! 